Okay, hi plant buddies. So ngayon po ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang black spots or possible fungus sa mga halaman natin, especially ngayon summer na sobrang init and then biglang umuulan and ang taas-taas ng humidity. So, I have a plant here that I have been keeping a close eye on. Um, Nag-start po siyang mag-black spot. Nasaan po yung nakikita nyo? <laughs> Ito yata. Ito yung nakikita nyo sa camera, no? Ayan. Okay. So, nag-start po siya na nagka-black spot ng ganyan. Isa lang, nung una. I have had this for this plant for about, about two and a half years. And, nagka, na, I dealt with this po kasi before with a Graptoveria Douglas hat nung binili ko. And, I treated it successfully. Natanggal naman. Pero, nauna po, isa lang yung black spot niyang ganyan. So, ang inisip ko, ay, naka full sun siya, masyadong init ngayon. Maybe, it's sunburn. Pero, I kept a close eye. Um, after a few weeks, or a few days, hindi ko alam, basta araw-araw tinitignan ko. Meron na naman, isa pa. Ayan. Meron, ayun o. Oh. Nakita niyo ba? Ayan. Meron na naman po isa pa dito sa baba. Tapos, Meron pa doon sa taas. Meron pa doon sa taas niya. Ayun. Nakikita niyo yung black spot. Ayun. O, nakikita niyo talagang parang circular siya, di ba? Meron pa isang black spot. Pagkatapos, meron na naman dito. Ayun. Meron na naman doon. Tapos, doon sa kabilang plant, meron din dito. Ayan. So, kung na-notice ko, tapos meron na naman, ayan o, meron dito. Tapos, saan pa ba? Ayun, ayun na yata. Tapos, meron din dyan. So, ibig po sabihin nun, hindi na sunburn to. They're all circular black spots as you can see in the camera, like right here and dito po. Ibig sabihin po nyan, it is a form of fungus na. So, kailangan na siyang i-treat. Kung hindi, yung uh, mag magkukontinue po siyang mag-spread sa leaves. Tapos, yung pong leaves na nalagyan na niya ng ganyan, um, what happens is this will slowly dry off and malalagas na lang po siya. Okay lang sana na malagas yung isang leaf eh. Wala namang problema. Gagamitin pa rin ng plant yung, yung water storage niya. Kaya lang, ang problema, if you don't treat it, pakalat. Hanggang sa malagas lahat ang leaves ng buong plant and then mamamatay po ang ating plant. By the way, this is a Graptoveria Purple Delight that is not in great condition kasi po summer and palagi pong nahihirapan ng mga sakilats ko pag summer dahil sobrang init and, and taas-taas ng humidity tapos uulan for 5 minutes tapos magsisteam lang yung ground lalo pang uminit. Um, ayaw, ayaw po ng sakilats yun. So, ang ginagawa ko is I buy a fungicide. Ang ginagamit ko pong fungicide is called, alam ko, uh, Daconil or Daconil by Garden Tech. Hindi ko po alam kung available to sa Pilipinas, pero the active ingredient is the same po as Dytane. This is just the liquid form. Um, so, ang Dytane po, I think it comes in powder form dyan sa Pilipinas and then may mix nyo po with water, di ba? Um, yung pong ginagawa ng iba is tinatanggal yung buong plant tapos binababad sa dietane wag nyo pong gagawin yun hindi po, hindi po yun ang tamang method na panggamit sa dietane if you do search it online ang, use, ang, ang instructions po na panggamit ng dietane is to spot treat the fungus itself and then uh, gawa lang po kayo ng parang thick paste with the with the dietane powder tapos uh, lagyan niyo po ng konting water form a thick paste and then ang gagawin niyo po is use spot treat so ganito po yung mangyayari pag nag pag gumawa po kayo ng paste with the dietane which is pretty much this iba lang ang brand pero which is pretty much this tapos i just sprayed it like that oh so, mix nyo po yung dietane nyo with a little bit of water. Tapos po, ang gagawin nyo lang nun pagkatapos is spot treat kung nasan po yung fungus. Naki, sana po na, hindi ko alam kung nakikita nyo sa camera. Eh. Ayun, spot treat lang. Kung nasan yung fungus, yun lang ang lalagyan nyo ng dietane. Okay? So, this is the same thing. Pareho lang po ang active ingredients niya. Lalagyan nyo lang po ng ganyan. 
Wag na wag nyo pong ibababad ang buong plant sa dietin dahil baka mamatay. You have to remember that this is still a chemical. Okay, so um, it is still harmful to the plant, considering ha, when there's too much of it given. Pag masyadong marami, mapapatay din ang plant dahil chemical-based chemical po to. So, uh, habang nagsasalita po ako, sorry po, nag-a-apply nag lang. Uh, it's facing me kasi <laughs> hindi ko makita kung ano yung nakikita nyo. Ayan. No, nag apply lang ako doon sa spots na meron siyang fungus. Ito po ang proper way na application ng fungicide. Hindi po buong plant binababad. Um, at saka, you notice po, I'm using um, a paintbrush. Hindi ko po hinahawakan. Um, never po dapat ma-expose ang skin nyo sa fungicide because it is harmful. Um, nakakabit po dun sa label that this, you know, this if consumed or touches the skin. I, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure by a lot, right? Uh, it, it is cancerous. So, kailangan po follow the instructions pag bumibili po kayo ng insecticide or fungicide, okay? If wala pong instructions yung binili nyo dahil nakasashe, you can always look it up online kung paano po ang proper way of treatment. Um, you also, uh, ayaw nyo pong gawin to, ang nakakabit din po sa instructions is, ayaw nyo pong gawin to pag sobrang init sa labas. So, gawin nyo pag gabi or hapon na. Tapos, uh, either keep it inside the house kasi pag sobrang init it's very bad for the plant to apply this baka masunog um, ang gagawin nyo po pag sobrang init is to place your plant in a bright shaded area na merong indirect sunlight pero hindi po yung matututukan siya, okay? for at least 24 hours pagkatapos nun pwede po kayong mag spot treat dun sa leaves na meron fungus pwede po kayong mag spot treat every 7 days um, hanggang sa mag-stop na po yung spread. Ang mangyayari po dito is yung black spots po na yun, hindi na po yun matatanggal. But, um, the fungicide will kill it. Pagkatapos po, hindi na siya mag-spread to the rest of the plant's leaves. Pagkatapos nun, as an added measure, ang other instructional use, kasi ang actual instructions niya is to spray the areas where it is affected it is in, uh, affected um pwede rin po siya ito rin po yung ginagawa ko para ma-absorb ng roots yung uh, uh, fungicide na inapply natin para po ma-absorb ng plant mismo from the roots and it can start healing the fungus from the inside para pong binigyan niyo ng gamot um what you do is yung pong dietin niyo that you mix with water konti lang mag uh, mag-spray lang po kayo ng konti or maglagay ng konti sa mismong plant. Tulad ng ginagawa kong to. Ayun. Konti lang. And then, every 7 days, uh, iwa-water nyo po ng ganyan. Just enough to wet the root ball para po ma-absorb niya yung uh, para po ma-absorb niya with the water yung yung fungicide natin na ina-apply. So, you can see, hindi ko po siya din deep water. Enough lang po para mabasa yung roots. Um, also, hinintay ko po, hinintay ko po until um, my plant over here is ready to water. Kung, um, check niyo po yung pinaka-underside ng leaves ng plants ko is, um, nagpo-fold na po sila ng konti. Pag pupurnes ko ng ganyan, nagre-wrinkle. Yung very, yung very bottom leaves niya po, ayun o. Yung galing, meron kasi yung dieting. Yung iba, ayaw kong hawakan eh. Pero if I press po, the very bottom leaves ng plant ko, um, nagre-wrinkle, nagre ayaw kong hawakan eh. Nagre-wrinkle na po siya, malambot, uh, malambot na ng konti, pero hindi nagtutubig. Um, uh, na, nangayayat na po yung leaf, 
Tapos, nagda din po ng konti pag pinipress ko ng ganyan. Uh, at saka, mga 3 weeks to 1 month ko na rin po to hindi dinaligan. And the soil po is completely dry. So, tinime ko po to when kailangan, kailangan na rin po dinaligan ng konting tubig yung succulent natin. Before, I added the ditane. Tap, ay, the ditane. Yung pong fungicide ko, tapos dinaligan ko, uh, dinaligan ko po ng konti. Um, so, that is how you spot treat fungus. Tapos po, um, ito po, I will show you a clip kung paano ko siya tinanggal. Um, right here is Echeveria subsessilis. Kung paano ko siya tinanggal and how I, how I applied ditane doon. Here it is. This is our... This is our original arrangement that is actually our The Succulent Buddies logo and I think I might have to take it apart and it's kind of sad that I do but my Echeveria Subsessilis Morning Beauty right here seems to be having a little bit of a problem. Um, this is out in full sun also actually right next to the Graptivaria Purple Delight. I'm going to pull off some leaves in the bottom there, see? This only gets wet from rain. I do not water because, like I said, in the summer, I like to keep my succulents fairly dry. And um, at this time of the year, if my succulents do rot, it's not because I overwatered. It's because of the heat and the humidity. Should have just beheaded it. <laughs> oh, that would grow new babies. But. Because I am concerned there might be fungus, I am just going to apply the fungicide right under there. With my, right under there with my little brush, I am going to apply it on the undersides of the leaves where it has these dark areas here. Um, I did see a few spiders um, on the plants, and but I didn't see any bugs, which is a good thing. But mm -hmm. like um, I'm going to show you, you know, the extra precautionary measures that I take, especially in the summer, um, you know, to prevent aphids and mealybugs. I still do get the occasional bug, but I don't. I never get an infestation because. I do a lot of preventative measures to not get any on my plants. Um, the most I get is pretty much ants. I don't know. Ants, I apply diatomaceous earth, but, you know, they Can go away for a little bit. And then it rains, and then the, you know, the powdered form of the diatomaceous earth, every time it gets wet, it doesn't work. So I have to wait for the soil to dry again and apply it to make them go away. But ants, I don't know. Ants will keep coming back no matter what. And it's just something that we, unfortunately, you know, that we have to deal with. And so there you go. I applied that with a brush. I need a little bit more. Need a little bit more. No. And then I just apply it onto the stem as well. Um, remember guys, when you do this, if you do decide to do it this way on your plants, please follow, uh, follow the care instructions. Um, according to the care instructions, you're supposed to actually spray it all over your plants, which I choose not to do. But instead, I treat you know, important areas or any areas that may be affected. Okay, so here you go. And then what I do is I will put this in and I will put this back in. Just dig it in there. The aloes, um, the aloe's roots are really like in there, guys. Ito po yung dalawa natin uh, balitrini today with a little bit of ditane. Um, ito, linagyan, lin, uh, budburan din po. I forgot, nakalimutan ko. Budburan din po ng cinnamon yung top ng uh, 
yung top ng soil nyo. So, linalagyan ko lang po ng cinnamon ngayon. If you're wondering what I'm doing in the background. Kasi, why cinnamon? Cinnamon has antifungal properties that kill certain types of candida if mixed in if mixed po into the soil. So, does it kill fungus? Pag nandyan na talaga siya, na-infect na po yung plant nyo. I don't think so. But I think it helps po to slow the spread para mas magawa po ng fungicide natin yung trabaho niya to kill the fungus in our succulents. Um, so, sana po nakatulong, nakatulong tong video na to for any of you that are having problems with yung pong mga black spots sa mga succulents nyo. Um, this is the proper way of applying fungicides according po sa mismong label ng fungicide na binili ko which has the same active ingredients po as ditane and uh, wag, na, wag nyo pong ibabad yung mga plants nyo sa ditane it is more harmful than it is beneficial so spot treat lang po pagkatapos idilig nyo lang po ng konti into the soil para ma-absorb ng roots yung fungicide acting as parang gamot niya para mainom so the plant could start healing itself from within. Um, ditane po, notice po spot treat ko lang no? Kasi ditane po can also um, stain the leaves ng plants nyo. Nagiging yellow. And um, if given too much when the plant is not ready, it can actually kill the plant po pag binabad nyo. And you do not want any of these chemicals to get onto your skin. Dahil masama po yun. So anytime you buy chemical pesticides or chemical-based fungicides, palagi nyo po sanang isearch sa internet yung um, application process before, uh, before applying. Para na, lang, para na lang makasigurado that you're doing the right thing. Kasi po sometimes a lot of um, instructions hindi po nakalagay dun sa sachet. So, search po natin palagi online. Um, always, uh, nag-work na po to sa akin. Uh, I've, I have successfully treated it before. Hindi po to, iba pong succulent. Um, every 7 days ang application. So, I will probably do this for the next 4 weeks. So, 4 times in 1 month. Every 7 days po ang application, pagkatapos nun, or less, um, until mag-stop na po yung, uh, yung black spot na nag-spread. So, usually po mga, actually, 2 to 3 times application, okay na po yung mga succulents ko when this happens. Minsan-minsan lang naman. So, sana po nakatulong ako sa inyo. Kung may nagkaproblema man po sa inyo about black spots or fungus uh, mga succulents nyo here, uh, I hope this video helped. Um, this is Christine from These Succulent Buddies. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.